What's up guys, Reefer NYC back with another video and today we will be rescaping this tank. Um, a lot of you say to leave it alone, it's doing well, but I want to do something a little different. A new scape means new corals, more, more surface area to uh, do some more things like add more corals. But otherwise, we will be rescaping this tank. I've already come up with a new scape already. Uh, I saw the success with my uh, bigger tank with adding the new scape in that one. Everything's looking good in there. Everything's looking fine. So might as well do it with this um, with this tank. But mainly the reason I want to do a new scape is because I have a lot of pest zoas and pallies all over the rocks. Um, not my favorite, but I want a clean slate uh, so I can put more SPS, more cooler corals in here, uh, and just a little change things up. This this tank's been up for about two to three years by now. Um, so let's change things up a bit and get a fresh scape in here and get some new corals in here. Also, I want to refresh the fish in here too. Um, so maybe some long fin clownfish, maybe some yellow tang, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, Stay tuned, we're gonna get as many corals out of this tank, put it in the big tank. Um, I'll probably record to see, show you how packed the big tank will get. Um, that's the beauty of having two tanks, is that you can just do a lot of like back and forth kind of stuff. Especially, let's say this tank is, if something is up with this tank and the corals aren't looking that well, you can just swap it over to the big tank, vice versa. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, and figure out the next plan as far as getting the rock work out. I know the the center rock is going to be the toughest part because it's just like two pieces, but there's a lot of smaller pieces that can just like pluck out really quick and just dump into the sump to keep that beneficial bacteria. Um, but I'll show you the, the scape real quick. I was just messing around um, over here. So basically this section right here, that's as, that's as big as the, the surface area that I'm working with for the smaller tank. Um, so basically this is four carob sea arches like I have in the big tank. Um, there's one arch here, another arch here, another arch there, and another arch here. So we have an open space here. This is all gonna be open sand. A um, lot of surface area to work with, which I'm really happy to see. Um, but it was a very easy escape to, to put together. Like I can show you what it looks like and you can see the other three arches right there. So very easy. Highly recommend the arches if you want something different, really easy. They're not the porous, uh, they're not as porous rock as, as other ones like Marco rock, but they do have like really nice shapes and arches um, if you want something quick. Um, whenever you're working with this, like I said, it's not as porous, so definitely have some beneficial bacteria or extra live rock from your friend's tank or your old tanks. Uh, make sure you seed these rocks with your old rocks and uh, Hopefully the, the cycle comes faster or, you know, fixes itself faster. But here is the scape. Here's what it's looking like. Very cool, open caves and everything, arches. Uh, a lot of surface area on the top uh, to do um, some SPS sticking out of this sections or LPS, rock spawns, whatever, just jetting out of the rocks. Um, that alvapora, I was thinking like putting it over here so it like fills up this section, but we'll see you play around and figure that out as well. But stay tuned. Next couple clips will probably be me taking out the corals, putting into the big tank. I'll show you what the big tank is looking like, and then we'll do some other stuff after that. So stay tuned, we're gonna take the corals out. All right, so when moving stuff around, uh, gotten some rocks out. There's that big boulder I wanna move out, but I'm probably gonna do this in uh, pieces uh, just because the main part of the structure is sort of big and i have a potential buyer for that whole piece so gotta figure that out first before i dismantle that but otherwise all the corals are on the glass they're away from the structure very simple um in my case that is because they're not really encrusted on set of rock uh, but also we also have them all over here so you have the yellow toadstool we have some other toadstools um, some stuff on the sand, but that's the luxury of having two tanks because now you can just mess with them back and forth and have more space to work with. But uh, other than that, we're going to continue on, move some rocks out, 
probably gonna move that boulder out so I can put some of the two, put two arches in there just to get it to cycle. And then we'll continue on from there. All right, it's about seven o'clock right now. I uh, got some of the rocks out, uh, added the new Carib C, three of the arches into the tank. Looking good so far. So those will get uh, cycled in for now. Gonna let this sit overnight. Uh, make sure to go slow. I did two water changes so far, uh, five gallons mm -hmm. each. Uh, just sucked up the sand and vacuum the sand. I mean, got all the, the gunk out of there because uh, once these rocks are in, I'm not gonna go back in there. Uh, wasn't too bad actually. So uh, tomorrow or the next day, I'll probably uh, figure out some more stuff. <laughs> but for now, the corals are out and you can see the corals are all in this tank. All those suction cups have a coral on it. Um, gonna leave it there for a couple days. Should be fine. Uh, and then I'll get back to you putting them back into the tank. But stay tuned. Alrighty, it's been about a week or two since I first started to do the rescape. I feel like my new rocks have got a good film of uh, bacteria on them. Um, ready to take out the rest of the old rock and put in the new rock uh, to finish off the scape. So let's do that and see what happens. Alrighty, so we have all the old rocks out in these buckets. One there and one there. I'm probably gonna chisel this one up because uh, it was a good rock, but I like the bacteria on the rock too, so I'm gonna chisel it up and throw it into my sump. But right now, we have the new rocks in, so we have an arch here. There's another arch on the other side. A uh, little open canvas here. A lot of open swimming space in the middle over here. It'll probably be taken up by the albipora. Uh, pretty much a blank canvas I'll be working with, which is great. So I can put a lot of SPS and whatever corals I wanna put on these rocks. Uh, anemones are staying in the corner, which is great. Hopefully they stay there. Um, I don't mind them taking up that area. Uh, see the clownfish in there? Man, they bit me up like crazy, so these clownfish got really feisty. Um, what's also interesting too is that I put these clownfish in before my, my harem in my other tank, and they're super small in this tank, um, which is interesting to see. Um, I've got the damsel there. I know the tang is hiding in the back. There's the hawkfish that just swam through. Uh, but really loving a blank canvas, uh, no more pest pallies or anything like that. Uh, and yeah, uh, we'll probably, I'll probably do another shot once everything clears, maybe in like one or two days, and then we'll wrap up the video from there. So stay tuned. Alrighty, so it's been a few days since I had escape up. Uh, as you can see, it's looking pretty cool. I just rewatched one of my old videos when I was creating this video that it didn't turn out the way I intended. So I'm probably gonna break this down again to rescape it the way I wanted it to be. But otherwise, it looks really good. Um, everything is really open. It's about like nine o'clock in the morning right now. So uh, everything is closed up. But this whole section fills up the frog spawn, frog spawn up there. Albapora goes crazy up big up here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be messing around with the escape some more. But otherwise, we're gonna end the video here. As you can see, everything's looking happy. We've got some new fish in there. We've got the, the white tail, we've got a zebra, uh, and some other stuff in there. But we'll talk about that on another video. But guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.